Okay, hello and welcome back everybody. This is going to be another part of the Spartacus Rises campaign that I'm doing at the moment. In the last part we managed to take out, with the help, well, unintentionally <laughs> from the help of the Seville Satorian rebels, we took out Rome. They still got a fleet somewhere, but they took the uh, province here in Africa from them. And then the Celts took that off the Romans as well. <laughs> Oh, wake up, sir. Uh, my predicament now is really to declare on more one of these guys. Obviously, the ones I want to get and the provinces is these ones here. They do have two armies near me as well in this area. So, three. So, they've got to be very careful and they've got a huge empire. Also, I mean, these guys can declare war on me as well, the Celts. So, let's check diplomacy first and then we can figure out what we're doing army wise etc these guys we don't actually have trade with and they quite like us because of what we've done against Rome mid tractions but obviously with this treaties with Massilia and the media is not helping because obviously they're in Africa and we don't have trade so greetings friend I've called for good ale to ease your throat and ha ah. Ripe women to ease other parts. See if we can do full work and get some trade because they help with some things and then we can ask him. Moderate, we'll okay, let's try it. Rejected. Okay, we'll try with a bit more money maybe. But um if we can try and get a military alliance or defensive alliance, they may break it off when I do to care one Satorians. Uh again Massilia and Namidia. They don't like me because of that. Major Kent's actions with Rome has helped. Greetings, friend. I've called for good ale to ease your throat and ha ah, ripe women to ease other parts. Yeah, so that's like a gift, nah, no, it's not point giving them more money, bastards. Major Alliance is gonna be exactly the same, but let's just try it. More like to give me defensive alliance with bloody military run, aren't they? Okay. Before we try it anyways. My friend, you honor this place with your arrival. I in my lord's name, hmm. be welcome. And may the blessings of the gods bring you the profit of the day. Ooh, I was gonna say, because obviously it's quite high, I should we make him a client state, but uh, these guys don't like them as it is. So that, that's surely going to affect it to them to hate me more. I don't know. Let's try it anyways. And it works. We have heard. Okay. They obviously don't like us because of that. Is it changed already? 23. Was that high? Ooh, I think that's done it quite a lot. Let's check the two rebels. 38, 68, 19. I think that was up 10 before. Should have really put that down. Let's see what happens. War target available. And what do we get for this? I forget what client states, what happens with them. It might let's see what it is on the next turn. That's the thing. Armies. Okay. Yeah, the plan was obviously we get this army stack when we move on to Hatria, so if we do to care war we can obviously cover it up front. So let's get basics. Ooh. 2,300. Uh, let's check actually settlements first. If we increase things to get some more money. Because we're going to obviously need to do that. Anything which is cheap to do. Not really at the moment. That will give you some more money in three turns. Oh, I think that's what I've been doing. Is the uh, main settlements. But I've only to check for food. Let's just 
do that, but I don't think there's anything we can really do. That's been built as well in eight turns. Okay, so we are getting more money in, but we've just got bloody weight for it. These ones we can do as well, but we've got to think about squalor and then food to go coincide with it. So, uh, fortunately, we can do that maybe. We, uh, there's two of them, that's 12. Yeah, we need some more food anyways. Okay, I think we're going to have to spam some turns. Why well, have we got enough rejects for them? That was weird, wasn't it? I think we was on six armies before. That's obviously just gone up then, because... We may... Oh no, I don't know why. It's because of the client states. But nothing come up for that though, did it? Yeah, because we would have got more settlements because of that. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So we can do... Worth versus Teratinum. <laughs> Teratinum. Uh, commerce buildings, full food. Let's do tax rate. Now we're getting some more money. They're starting to move away. Outcast Rome. Hmm. I'll wait for these other ones to be done. Nah, fuck it, let's do both. Uh, if you can find somewhere else to do a food for the next turn and we'll do that then because that's an extra 250 just need to get enough money so we can uh, get another army stack because we haven't got enough at the moment to take one of these or unfortunately both of them we see little profit in further bloodshed you have fought with honour but it is time A decline in your faction's appearance diminishes your authority. Consequently, the government's problems can no longer carry out your edicts. Never had that happen to me before. A bit weird. Okay. Let's do it here then. See if that works. Um. Just notice this plus four in this area, and this is going to make it go down into negative. So let's do that one. This worst comes first, we have to convert this one over to purple, but we'll see in a minute. Come if we stick some troops in there, that public order will be alright. Soldiering! It's a good life! Let's do that for the meanwhile. I've been really slow. <coughs> the last few times I played this has gone extremely slow. The media has been destroyed. Corrales. Let's have a look at that. That's getting me extra food, which is good. But I do this for money, can't we? And then leave that. 
eventually we could probably do that, but obviously we've got to think about food, not the squalor. So, 7,000 is it's quite expensive as it is, but it's more for uh, food for that one. So we're going to need to get food levels up. But ideally, we need to take a few more servants before we can do that. Because we're starting to max out exactly what we're using in our own settlements. There we go, that's cool. Before we do one of them. Unfortunately, uh, this is going to make it go down a bit. We hunger for battle. Five. Yeah, we may have to convert one of them over into a purple. obviously I don't want that army staying there, it's going to be moving up, so. Corruption, we still have corruption. It's not good, is it? Yeah, I may do that now. Because I'm going to get increased of money anyways once I town things being built up the orange building stop the adoption Does some bastard just poisoned me it's probably the Romans but let's move them down That's a small town one, so money will go up a little bit from that, which is good. I'm just going go for this one. No, yeah, it's rubbish, but we do get some food. Uh, what is it? It was there, wasn't it? Sanitation could help, probably would have, couldn't it? Purple. Let's just do that for the moment. They both be built at the same time, so that order will go up slightly, and then obviously money a little bit as so well. It's just gone down because I've dismantled that, but then we can figure out if we can do another one because money is not very high at the moment. Fuck off. They're getting a bit too uh, close for cool, aren't they? Tutorial rebels. I'm going to stick my spy unit in the army because obviously someone's causing havoc there. And after the mishap I had yesterday with um, in my leopardist campaign, we can't be doing it. Can't be dealing with stuff like that. Enemy wounded. Enemy J just caught acting against your interests. They were wounded trying to escape. Oh, okay, that's cool. Either way though. At your command. Let's sit them in there. So I they can Ready for battle. Start with finishing, which is good. Uh four thousand. This one's gonna be seven thousand, plus we've got to think about food. Let me get his army step built. So unfortunately, I don't want to attack yet. Might as well do this one as well. Cause we can always like break this, cost food, but obviously it gets some public order in. If need be. Make it a gracia. Won't do that yet, but that will be sanitation because obviously they're quite low down here as well. Bought another purple building either way. 
Yeah, you can see a purple building there, actually. See you on the next one. Let's actually check, see if we can. Oh, I think I just just kill someone. Uh, let's check if we can upgrade anyone. Promotions. Nah. It's like using people in it. Two. Yeah, because we can always upgrade this for food as well, but obviously for public forward, so we need to sort that out a little bit. So that's that one with the purple once it's done. They're very happy, so. And there's two buildings to do, do with that. Again, we can always upgrade that one. Some more food. Let's probably build this up. Ten squad, but we'll probably use that. Yeah, we'll do that in the next turn because we're getting ten food and we can use four of it on that. So no problem. So we we'll get a plus six at least, and then we can use that on one of the uh, level three town buildings, and that will get some more money. And that's the best course of action. Again, if we have to use that, because I've seen public order. Need one which does corruption because obviously he's still got higher corruption levels. It's a bit annoying. Oh, so we need to do that one first. Public boss, sewers, firewatch, and then we can do this one. Ah, oh, fair enough. Let's get out with public order. Plus, you can always do food for the level five shit stuff as well. So might as well leave it on that because that will also do building construction costs at least. Okay, and then we can do this tree one here. Does that help with public order? Unfortunately, we're having to do these buildings at the moment. So we get some money in. And we've got to keep people happy. Because we like people to be happy. Money's going gradually up though, which is good. It's good. Sterling Rebels versus Amari. Unfortunately, we've only got two big superpowers left and they're gonna attack me. So I need to be very prepared before I do so. Because they would get at me. They would like to slaughter me. Stop legging for me, please. Come on. Massilia have been taken out, so my current state is gonna go. So everyone is dwindling very, very fast. It shall be my time soon, I guess. Indeed it will be. Let's build them up so we can get some stuff there as well. Yeah, I think that's it we can do at the moment. Oh my god, stop lagging for me. Doesn't like switching for provinces at the moment. The thing I hate about this game, sometimes it works completely fine and other days it's just like, meh. Lags the fucking hell. And I know it's not in the kitchen, but you know what I mean, like if proper just sticks. The frame rate just goes. Probably because um, the recording. If it was, if I wasn't recording, you get any of this crap. You, you do tend to get out of games. It's the name name of the game. Oh, we can upgrade these two, can't we? Do that. 
down the next one as well. Let's get three grand. I have to wait two turns for it, but give me a bit of extra cash. So unfortunately, I've anything to use food on them two puppet order buildings, so food's gone down a little bit. Probably do one though. But again, we'll wait for this. Do these ones first. Let's get the smaller chunks of money in, and then we can do the big one. And then eventually we can build this fucking army. Okay, we've got that research done. We've got 15 for the next. What has occurred? So they've literally taken all the smaller unit uh, factions now. There's going to be literally no one left. Maori are at war with Chibali. Rome is gone, so it will be just us three. So Touring Rebels, Celtic Federation, and then me. That's the Maori then. Oh my god. So I may wait for them to declare war on me. Maybe the safest bet, otherwise both factions will be at war. We will have to see, won't we? But I think that might be the best thing to do. Stop that from happening. Okay, let's check what ones we can do. They'll force Syracuse is the eight gram on seven thousand. So we'll do that next because this one is cheaper. But obviously they can't deal with the squatter side of it unless you do this. Uh, probably leave that one for the meanwhile. Again, we would most likely do this one actually, but again, we just have got to save a 7,000. So there's two options. So, unfortunately, we might have to spam like four turns, but. And then we can start building in troops 100% because we'll get about 900, I think, it roughly estimates that. If nothing else pops up in the meanwhile. Saying that, I need to. Probably all these like four in there. As soon as I move that army out. Ten food. <sighs> Jesus. So Rome has finally been destroyed. Once we start attacking, it's alright because we can obviously do food in them ones so it ain't a problem and we just got someone else just do stone car okay we can finally do it twenty three we could do it in this one well, say that do this one because obviously he's closest to the enemy so we've got to think of it in that sense 900 for map sweet fortunately we've got to wait eight turns to reap the benefits but in the meanwhile because it takes up four turns to build shit and we're nearly on three grand now in a summer month let's start building some troops Eight turns, fucking hell. Well, we're gonna have to wait until they're built as it is. So eight turns for the building, and then for that. Fuck it, let's, do, let's go all in, all in. Ten turns. That's gonna take a while.
Fishmongers, we've got some more food. I think it's quick you spam these and then we can declare war on someone. Because at the moment they're not doing anything against me. Kill. Four food. Ten squalor. Nope. Let's see if we can build anything. Needs to save some money though. Can't really do any more foody things, so first thing, 10 squatter, can we get away with that? Maybe, if not, what about these? Four food though. Shit. Uh, what about that? Four food? Nah. Could get away with that. Oh, that actually gives me food, doesn't it? It's a four squad up. But that was quite bad in that area, isn't it? We'd have to do that. Four squad up. Uh, can't even do that for money, can we? Doubt it. Nah, it's going for. Oh, we can do that there, can't we? Yeah. That gave me some food. So, leave it there so we keep save some money. Possibly it's going to go down a bit now. Okay. Keep this money. Because as soon as we attack, I want to be able to swap over their settlements as soon as possible. And I'm going to be any faffing around with anything. And any new army stacks we can build as well. There we go. This money's gone down about nearly grand on just them alone. But there's two more expensive units than the rest. We will still have enough money. Uh, we won't be negative from doing all this, but obviously, once I spend this money that like I'm saving up, we need to get everything into a positive. So as soon as we get some settlements, convert them over, we can try and sort that out. Oh, look, me is. Gilakus. Katios. Okay. Sp spam these turns. Let's get these units built as soon as possible. And then we could declare war on this scam. These rebel scum. Four turns. It's gone down a bit again. By 400 on that one. Now it's spearmen. Spearmen rhinos. So the Tribali have pretty much been wiped out as well. Their fleets are running off. Ah, oh, because they could be waiting here all day if they do take care of war meat, so... Okay, two towns, money's gone up a little bit, but obviously not a hell of a lot. Once these uh, units have been done, I should get some more money in anyways, which is good. I forgot about that. Then we can check food levels. But with the new settlements, we'll get food anyway, so that's my first priority. 1400. Roaming herbs, smoking them herbs. Okay, so money. Ooh, it's gone up to five hundred. Could get away with that. At least, unfortunately, got food. Oh, well, anyway, so we'll keep it up for Smeema, and then I think. How many turns? We hunger Two. For battle. What we can do. Obviously it's going to make my money go down a bit more, but let's get a general in there to help with some public order, because they're going to have to move. Seven, yeah, unfortunately we might have to spend some food on this temp food. Ooh. One turn. 
10 third again, but I close up by 24. I've already used that one and the other one. Because the research will be done now, finally. Berber Kingdom. Okay, got this now. Let's have a look. Minus three public order. Things so you can never have a look at that, can you? Like, can you? I wish I could scroll over to the minus three public order on the left because as soon as you go, whoop, nothing there. So does that mean? Which I assume it would mean. Pretty obvious. I get that's a penalty on me, so it'd be public order minus three in all areas, which is I think very stupid for uh, you know. I've never had seen that before, but uh, public relations could use do something for that. Critical costs, if not. Okay. Oh, frame rates. Let's do that. Let's go that route and we can try and sort these out. Patient rates for armies would be very good. Okay. 750. Good. Set up the watch. There, minus one. Initiate in theory. Yes. That's why I've done it. Cost me money, but it will sort out the public order in that area. It will go down in the winter months. Oh no, it's minus three now. Okay, let's do this then. Ten food. Eight turns. We ain't gonna go down into a, a, a full and riot. So once that's done in eight turns, we'll be alright. So we can leave him there. And once we do get some more money, which is gonna be very hard. Um, that's why I waited for the nine grand to convert things over. We can start building some more troops. But for the meanwhile, Commander. where's the road? You go there. Because we are going to be attacking. Let's see where all, all the armies are. Of man. Got one here, in case anything does kick off. But we need to see who's attacking us and who's not. He's going to have to stay there. And these ones are fucking... Someone's got lurgy. Or oh, farted. Oh, I think this is the moment now. Let's just save it. Let's pray to God. Commander. These guys do not get involved. Fuck they are. We will go to war then. Besieging settlement. We take this settlement for Rome. So these are gonna be like basically like Lucidiani, so. Uh, let's go for a for that. Uh, these guys have to finish. A couple turns, but pressure rates will go up. We're gonna have to take this at bunny hops. We're not gonna be able to do this very quick at all because I can't leave these guys hanging because the Celts are all along here. That's the one thing I was worried about. It's bad enough taking on these guys separately as it is. At your command. Besieging settlement. Take this settlement for Rome. Rome. None will escape. Might as well siege it. Let's do one at a time. Settlements. Let them cower before Rome. And again we've left this open, so you've got to be careful. But where was it? We need to convert this over. Oh beer. Food, glorious food, and then money. 
See what happens in the next turn. Oh, okay. Secure that formation. Obviously, I need to start using these gems a bit more. We can do that. That will help. 492. Bird, yeah, man. Rome's just gone down as well. For minus two. Public order. Yeah, let's see what happens in this turn. And then we'll have to leave it. But obviously... Oh, money's gone up quite a bit. Already. That's cool. Let's do something to build that villa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's already. As soon as you can do that, we can get another army stack. And then I think we might have to send them towards. I don't know where to send them actually. We need to see what the enemy does for the moment, because obviously. I'd say in circle, like I said, I'd rather do one at a time because we can take this one now. We ain't gonna have enough money off of us. We're only coming up against normal forces at the moment, garrison units, so. Okay, he's ranked up now. Yeah, if, look, if I'd take that other one, I would not have had enough money. So, we're fortunately going to have to do one at a time here. Commander. And they got replenished, so it's good that we're doing research for that at the moment. So, it will help with replenishing rates so we can take things a lot quicker. Secure promotion. And this is costing money, I don't know. But, I've had to, unfortunately, bite the bullet here and actually start the attack. But I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest. If I can try and take. Um, Italy from the Satorian rebels and then try and get some peace and then I can work on the Celts go across Africa and do the same do half of their territory and then make peace and then to kill war on the Satorian rebels again but taking two at once is going to be very hard I'm going to spit my forces too thin because I'm having to leave them there and this one here I have to leave them there because it's too close to Carthage and the these settlements. But at the same time, these two pushing up. Once we get some more money in, I can get this other army stack, and they can start pushing north. We can try and take the Satyrian rebels on. And once this is secure, I can move that guy up as well. I probably will. He can at least take Elia there and stay there, because he can be used as a backup force to take on the uh, Northern Italy as well. As long as we've got some blockers for the Celts, we should be alright. Hopefully they don't come across and attack, but let's see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next part.